Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is me first thing in the morning. Not so pretty, eh? Maybe I should put this on Instagram. Anyway, I'm lying on the floor, currently in my charging corner. I feel like my life is like constantly on charge, like, something is always on charge. Um, so, yeah, just gotta charge my watch. So, I wear my watch at night because that does all my sleep cycles. I'm lying on the floor, that's why I kind of look in this weird position. Um, so yeah, and then I wake up and obviously it's like rinse the battery, so I now I have to put my watch on. Um, I have my phone on overnight, I've got to check that, and I check my sleep cycle. And apparently, apparently I got 9 hours and 37 minutes sleep last night with 61% deep sleep. But because I only have one functioning nostril and I don't feel that well, it felt like about three hours. So, yeah, I'm still not feeling that great 100% and I have a feeling I'm going to be heavier today. I can kind of just feel it and that kind of segues nicely onto weight fluctuations. So the reason I think I'm going to be heavier is for two reasons. Um, one is because I'm ill um, and then when you are ill... Uh, you tend to kind of like hold on to more water. It's like the stress response of being ill. And then number two is that I'm really, really sore because I've trained three days on the bounce, deadlift twice in two days in a row. Um, and when you get that like localized inflammation, um, like for the muscles, like so when you're putting stress on the muscles, obviously you get that muscular swelling. Uh, swelling is more blood flow going to the area, more blood flow means more water because blood is made out of water, so that's why. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be heavier, but I'm going to go and weigh myself now and then have coffee and breakfast. I'm too good at this. Right, so as suspected, I woke up a little bit heavier this morning, but I think, <clears throat> excuse me, the more you do it, the more you kind of realise and understand like what is happening, so I knew that I was going to go up, but I'm actually not bothered about it in the slightest, and it's not going to affect my mood for the day, but I appreciate this doesn't come easily for everyone, and they could potentially, their mood would be dictated by the number on the scales, but... So yesterday I felt like a little bit drained, I felt hungry, I felt a little bit tired. Maybe it's because I was ill, but I kind of know, or I could feel that I was in a deficit. So I just knew that if I just keep going, I just hit my macros. Even though I've woke up a little bit heavier today, I know that in a couple of days, after this weekend, maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday, I will 100% hit a new low. Purely because I've done this through experience, but also because I know that I'm just hitting my numbers every day and I'm not allowing the scale to dictate how I'm feeling. But now it's time for breakfast. It is almost 10 o'clock. I'm going to have some pancakes with bacon and some fake maple syrup. And yeah. Excited cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and we're probably going to eat outside because it is another lovely day today. Uh, I think it's like 21 degrees today. Gonna do that. Got a probably do a little bit of video editing. Got a Skype call at 12, and then out to St James's Park for a picnic. Right, so we are in the kitchen, about to have breakfast. We're gonna have pancakes with bacon and fake maple syrup. And my lovely assistant is going to show you or tell you exactly what we're gonna be having in those pancakes. Take it away. Okay, so we're gonna have oat flour. I ground this up earlier because I'm lazy and I don't like doing it loads, so I do it in batches. We're going to start with 80 grams of that and see how we go. Um, and then powdered peanut butter because it's calories. Um, some baking powder just to make it nice and fluffy. And then we'll probably do at least one whole egg and two whites. And then a little bit of almond breeze depending on how loose the mixture is. And a mash of a banana, put that in there as well. And maybe some toffee flour drops. It's nice and sweet. Um, but I just play it by it most of the time. And then bacon. And then bacon. And bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Cannot. So that's 122 calories for two slices. So we're going to have that. And we're going to put it actually in the pancake. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> just on a side note, I'm, I like to think that I'm like a pretty decent cook. But she is even better than I am. 
<laughs> and she has just launched her website, so this is a little bit of a plug, www.lottylifts.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description, but also on the screen here, so yeah, go check it out if you want to try some tasty stuff. So why are you whisking the egg white? Volume. Um, all the volume. All the volume. Volume is important um, and it makes it nice and fluffy. Um, and I would just fold this in at the end gently with a metal spoon so you don't knock all the air out of it because there's no point in doing this if you're going to blend it all together. But it makes it nice and big and fluffy and you get loads. So. Awesome. That's what are we saying? It's all of the dry ingredients. This is what I meant by folding the egg whites in, so don't knock the air out of them, but that volume, that's what you want. With one hand is flipping. Oh, I love you fat in there. Oh. Oh, all the gains. So what we've done ingeniously is use the bacon fat as the, I guess, the oil or the, the fat for the pancakes. So we're going to put the pancakes in here. So they're going to taste like bacon. Dieting's hard. Nailed it. You look how thick they are. It's a beautiful day again outside, so we thought we'd have our breakfast outside, and here is the finished product. What a beautiful day to be alive. You know when you start to <laughs> oh, that's definitely big size. <laughs> what an athlete. <laughs> So it is 9.50 in the evening now, I uh, had a nice day out at St James's Park which you would have seen me um, showing my professional skills at Rounder Cricket, it's a new game that we invented today uh, with Gordon Greenhorn, his girlfriend and a few of her friends and obviously Charlotte. Um, then we, so we had a few like kind of nibbles and stuff there and then we went to Nando's where I had the chicken burger and corn on the cob, tried to keep it low calorie. Um, but then realised that I've come back and I have over a thousand calories to eat. So I have a thousand eighty seven calories to eat and it is like I said it's nine fifty, ten to ten. So at the weekend I'm having slightly higher calories, so uh two thousand six hundred compared to two thousand one hundred during the week. Uh pretty much all from carbs, so just an extra hundred and twenty or hundred and ten grams of carbs or something, a little bit of fat. Um and that is purely for the fact that I said to Alex, I was like, look. I'll do this study, I'll do this experiment, but I need to make sure that it fits around my lifestyle, which usually means eating a little bit more at the weekend when I'm spending more time with Charlotte. So um, it's kind of backfired a little bit on the first day of my um, high calorie day, but I'm going to get it in. Fortunately, we got um, a load of nibbles and stuff. So we got some like snacker jacks and some fiber one bars and stuff um, and a load of fruit and that. So nothing that's going to be too heavy on the stomach. Um, and hopefully just really really high carb so gonna eat that and probably conclude the vlog and probably do some more vlogging tomorrow because it's a, gonna be a lovely day I'm gonna have a barbecue